Okay, Debbie. You got this. A discarded hermit crab shell. It is enough to make one wax nostalgic for simpler times, when life was all lunchboxes and dissecting revenant crows, and passing notes to your would-be sweetheart while procrastinating for memorizing the 99 syllables of a Babylonian demon's true name for tomorrow's quiz. Ah, uh, yeah, it takes me back to my school days in absolutely no way. Eh, I mean, I, I, you know, we, we had like an AP demonology thing, but, you know, I, I, I couldn't handle it. Okay, so I guess I'm going to use the um, Anima Shard to do this and try to recreate the wards and maybe not create a zombie this time. There's, well, there's no, like, dead bodies around here. Wait a minute, where are... There are no dead bodies around here. Maybe, maybe the familiars got them. Let's not think of this too closely. Oh. Well, okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's um, see if it worked. Come here. Come on. Come on, you ugly. Oh, hey, it look at that. It worked yeah, you, perfectly well. You did it. Huh. I actually did it. You did the thing. And uh, nothing happened, except it didn't... Maybe it only... Uh, okay, apparently it only goes one at a time. Kind of a... Well, it's a beginner. Kind of a bit of a design. It's a beginner there, you thing. Know. Yeah, it's you know, it's like you have to. It's, it's like in D and D, you have to get the basic version of a spell before you can get the one you know that that affects like a bunch of people. Yeah. See, this gate's only open, not destroyed. Maybe something smarter came through this way. I think that well, I think this is where the professor's left. Oh yeah, you're right. That's it's it's a boathouse down there, ain't it? Yep. Okay, let's lure some of these guys closer. Train to zone. Okay, it works on ghosts too, cool. Though still some slip through. I think it did better than the last time. Oh. It's still there, it's just invisible, I'm sure. No, it's gone. I don't sense it. I mean, did you use like do you use chalk or spray paint? I you... Quick access inventory updated. Oh, right, use magic. I, yeah. I think I'm just, you know... You're still... Well, it's a start, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you're you're still learning. Oh, yeah, I gotta stock up on your shards. Quick access inventory updated. All right. Well, I'm actually doing in the hang of this, I think. Yeah. Uh, now I think they want me to reactivate this thing. Oh yeah, that's what the, what the hell is this thing? Well, I don't know, but I mean, it's in the looks like it's in the center of everything, so it must be some kind of like arcane. It's uh, spinning. Yeah, spinning spinning means magic. As does a laser. What? Oh. oh. 
as does calling these things. They're not, they are angry. Well, good, now you can kill them. Sounds kind of musical. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm the machine I'm talking about, not the familiars. Oh yeah, yeah, that thing. I was thinking. How is it so? How can it be both discordant and harmonious at the same time? Uh, I barely know enough about music to understand what those words mean. Oh, hey, it worked! Alright! I must be charging up the wards on the library. Okay. Yeah. And look at the ones who... The, the doors it's already done it to, they just kind of yeah. poofing against it. <laughs> oh god, you know what these look like? What? The putties. Oh god, they do. <laughs> Gotta hit the Z on their chest. You mean the Z that takes up their entire fucking chest? Yes, exactly. That is their their one weak point. I mean, it's fucking huge. <laughs> How have you missed it up until this point? <laughs> They were running straight out of footage. <laughs> I love HJ. We interfaced on a video conference meet and greet once. Dude has his ruthlessness ducks in a row. You could take some notes. KG loves HJs. Moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Anyway, the school campus, we kind of inherited from the bad old days back when they expected black magic to do a bleeding edge containment grids job you can find this stuff all over the country our forefathers just throwing up wards like gang signs sometimes it holds sometimes some guy laying cables gets his face melted and it's defcon time huh because of you these ones hold at least until the military cluster bombs the place good job kg oh at least she's warning you? Uh. Okay, what the fuck? Jesus. De wow, Debbie, you look... You look like if they made a Mad Max movie starring Pat Benatar. What just happened? How did I... Why am I wearing this? Ah. Uh, that's a good question. Did it just suddenly show up? Yeah. Wait a second. How long have you been using that shotgun for? A while. Okay, and you've been like pouring your anima into it, haven't you? Yeah, getting better and better with it. I think what happened is, like, you reached the top, and you had to stop. No, wait, no, that's that's from the Jungle Book. You poured too much anima in that there was nowhere else for it to go, and it sort of spilled out, and then kind of created this outfit like you're on Sailor Moon. Why this outfit? I imagine that's... Secretly what you think of when you think of a shotgun. What? Why? That makes no sense. Are you this... bullshitting me? Ooh, I'm... I am not bullshitting. I am trying to form a theory based on the evidence available to me. I look ridiculous. Yes, you do. Let me see if I... Now, at the very least, I'm going to put a goddamn jacket on. Yeah, it looks, um, 
Looks a little cold in there. The hat has to go. Yeah, I... I don't know if you can burn something that's made of your own anima, but I think it's worth a try. Purple tassels? Yes. What the fuck? I mean, do you ever... Do, I don't know, are you, do you ever go to Burning Man, or...? Maybe I was thinking of Tank Girl. Does she ever wear use a shotgun? Tank Girl's more of like a, you know, rocket launcher kind of girl. Well, I mean, my... Sh Which, oddly enough, makes her an anti-tank girl. Uh, eh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, my shotguns can shoot rockets, too, so you know what? That's exactly the kind of thing I would see in Tank Girl. I give them a lot of jip, but the Templars were ahead of the curve in pushing for a proper magical education. Oxford, Uttar Pradesh, Cairo, etc. Of course, their reasoning was a bag of shite. Oxford? It's got bugger all oh, to yeah. do with entitlement and everything about sorting out your place in the world. There's a magical school in Oxford? For what it's worth, I mean, uh, the, the University of Oxford has, like... I don't know, 50, you know, 50 individual colleges in it. At least one of them teaches magic. I couldn't tell you what happens next, for the world and your place in it. Here, they'll mop up the blood, file the act of God insurance claims, rote learn their alibis, they'll cover it up. They always do. Flick through the Guinness Book of Disasters, and you'll have a hard time finding something we didn't start. But this goes further than the island. You know how... Excuse me. Female roommates, period, synchronize? That's how mm. it goes with my talents and the planet. And we've both been waking up like we've had the mankiest post-piss-up fish supper ever. Every day. There are a lot of words in Scottish there that I don't want to know. Same. Oh, sorry, I've been ignoring Carter. So, uh, She's used to it. How's your super story going so far? Swallowed a bee, wrecked your place. I know how that one starts. You yep. see, we're gifted. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come across like a spoiled brat, but gee, some gift. Scared yeah. all my friends. My family? Any chance for a normal life? Normal life's ever rated. freaked out the other students here at, mm. you know, Hogwarts. I can't blame them. Sometimes when I dream, it gives my roommates nosebleeds. That doesn't really make me BFF material. Have you had the dreams yet? Of the yeah. world suspended in a cold, cold darkness? Of voices dark. worse than anything you ever heard on MTV? Even in the reality shows of elder things. The black planet lit by no sun. Diddy, are you okay? I've seen it. And I was I was there. No? <laughs> you will. Not to get all emo Alan Poe about it, but you will. It comes with the powers. It's important, Mr. Montod says. Enjoy the ones about swimming or flying or absent friends while you can. Huh. A wraith? That's... improbable. They cannot manifest far from their wretched corpse. Thank you for not saying Only impossible. the Yazidi knew how to... <laughs> Yazidi? Oh, Yazidi. Oh, the... Mm. As a bookish child, I accidentally intoned a death curse that claimed my mother, our neighbors, and a passing couple in the street, though it spared their small russet dog. At least the dog is safe. I was young and needed the knowledge. Carter, this is why I saw something of myself in you. A great and terrible power to be shaped with the care I never had. That's oh. not really encouraging, sir. I assure you that your magic has almost certainly not caused any immediately fatal injuries. <laughs> this loose end has become a hangman's noose. 
Exorcising the wraith calls for a ritual sacrifice. My ritual sacrifice. Whoa, wait, what? No way. No bloody way. Fact, wait, what? Hear, me. Way. hear him out. In the realm of the Peacock King, blood calls for blood. The Peacock Such King? Such is the price of foolish magic. Oh, that is a deep mm -hmm. cut. I should like that for my epitaph. This isn't going to happen, H.J. Obviously, I defer to your massive brain on most matters of the occult, but the only object lesson happening today is you learning about compromise. That sounds... painful. Less painful than making a pentacle from your entrails. You remembered the very book of curses. Truly a model student. Please, no running in the halls. They are quite slick with gore. I pure hope this doesn't put you off further education. Ah, uh, oh. I see. Quick well, access inventory so updated. Now we are acquainted. Oh yeah, I've had this done for me before. I was afraid I was going to like have... You know, it really bothers the hell out of me in movies when they cut their palm to get blood. Oh, yeah, that's just, like, nasty, and it's, like... Painful? Yeah. And it's not gonna... And it's... You're not gonna get that much blood! I always saw a thing in, a, in like, a video review of, like, someone always wanted to see, like, the bad guy doing that and then having to go get stitched up by a nurse. <laughs> I've had a I've had my blood Take taken care. before f for yeah. use in a ritual. Let me guess, you go like the upper arm or something, or the. Please, no running in the hall. You just like prick your finger. What do you do? Yeah, yeah. I just gave him my I just gave him my my arm. I've got a really good vein. Hmm. You know, we talk about this in the exact same language as we would have were doing heroin. Well, I was a medic. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Confronting the Wraith, 12B, the reflected image. Confrontation is never an ideal course of action. In the event the confrontation is inevitable, remember that the Wraith loathes, loathes our physical reality and perceives it through the minds of its intended victims. Highly reflective surfaces, such as mirrors, appear to be escape routes to the Wraith when it is agitated. After passing through a mirror... The Wraith will always attempt to re-engage its victim through another mirror. So it's a flash rogue. This is the Mirror Master. Yep. Okay, I need a cult spectrometer. I'm sure they have one lying around. Probably in the supply closet. Yeah. No, wait, that's the mirror. Quick access inventory updated. Oh, no, they have mirrors, though. That's cool. They just have a big box full of mirrors. Sure, why not? Yeah. You never... I mean, lots of, lots of uses in rituals, you know? That's true. I mean, like, <laughs> what we're doing. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, look at this. Oh, man, they try, they really put up a, a stand here. Yeah, but who? Let's not think about that. Well, I mean, I don't even just, like... Never mind. So let's figure out how this thing works. Okay, so occult spectrometer. It's a thing that I just. Oh, that's new. It's basically like a PKE meter, isn't it? Yep. There we go. The 
It's telling me it's general direction. Hmm. Hey, where is this thing? I'll have to go remind me to get that. What's it doing here? Oh well. Welp. Okay, so oh god, I'm a, I'm doing a I'm doing a I'm summoning a mon I'm summoning a demon. Well, I just realized I'm summoning a demon. I'm sure it's more of an undead creature. Okay, you know what? What is the peacock king? That's a very it's a very esoteric religious thing. What is it? I'm trying to tell you. It's it's one of those things where it's so obscure that the best way to describe it is it's obscure. Oh! Ah! Ah! Hi! Who is Maloon the Accursed? Gah! I'm so glad I have a hammer. Smash that mirror. Not even worth pretending that they actually know what's going on around here.